Hello and welcome back to another Computer Sluggish tutorial. Today we're going to be taking a look at the 2018 edition of Bulldog Internet Security. As you can see, I've got on my screen right now, and straight away, as you can see, they've got next gen anti malware and they've got a game booster in their security now, which is pretty cool. You also get a two month trial, but if we just scroll down, you can actually see the prices of this program. As you can see, just for the antivirus, it's £24.95p a year. And for the internet security, it's £49.95p. And if you want to go premium, then it's £69.95p. That's a lot of money, especially for a antivirus or internet security program. But let's take a look and see how good this program actually is. I'm going to go ahead and press free download. And we're now going to go save file. And we're just going to run the install. Like I said, you do get two months to try it out. So it's definitely worth giving it a go, seeing what you think of the program. You never know, you might actually like it. Obviously when you actually pay for your internet security it's going to be a lot better than a free security program but free security programs are still really good and obviously do well at protecting your machine but let's just install this and see how good bullguard actually is right once you have successfully logged in which I did actually find a little bit of a nightmare then because I already had an account. I didn't know my password, so I had to recover my password. Then it opened up Internet Explorer to then change my password. But then I had to open up my Firefox, which has my emails actually logged in. Then I had to go in there. Then I had to click on another link to actually go ahead and reset the password. It's quite long winded. You know, I didn't really enjoy that, but... I'm not going to judge the program on that. Let's go ahead and press skip and let's just see what happens next. As you can see, it's now downloading the latest virus database. Finally, the program has now booted. And straight away, this is what the main screen looks like. I don't know if I can maximize it. Nope, that is the full max there. And that just kind of minimizes it a little bit. Don't really do too much. Overall, the GUI, it looks all right. It's pretty simple it but it does look okay i suppose straight away we can see we've got our antivirus real time protection which is on we got a firewall there which is on and then also we got vulnerabilities we got backup which is pretty cool so we can back up any files we want onto their server if we just click onto actions there we can click onto add to backup or manage profiles, restore, online drive. If I go ahead and press online drive, let's see what that does. That actually boots up my computer and we got a little section here. That's pretty smart, I like that. It's almost like the OneDrive sort of theme going on there. Let's just minimize that now and take another look at what else we got. We got PC tune up and we got parental controls. Let's go ahead and click on PC Tune Up and see what it says. If I click on to optimize, it's now scanning my machine. It's checking the registry, it's checking our browser cache and Windows clean up there. And it's doing third party apps. Personally, I don't see the point in having this in a security program. As if you want to do this sort of thing, you just download CCleaner or a program like that. But it still has managed to find 2.5 gig of rubbish on the Windows cleanup, which is pretty good, and 2.1 gig on third party apps. Overall, that is 4.6 gig. That is actually pretty good. As I have run, okay, up the top there it says 5.1 gig. That's really good since I have ran a lot of cleaning programs on my machine testing them. And that's actually found quite a lot. I'm impressed with that actually. Let's just close that down and see what else we got. If we go into the antivirus, we can do a quick scan, full scan. We've got a custom scan there. We can go into settings. We've got a few settings here. We've got our details there. As you can see there, we've got my 60-day trial. If we go down, we've got our antivirus, which at the minute, my security level is set to optimal. We could turn that up to maximum if we want. Let's just turn that back down again. we got our firewall. We've got vulnerabilities, which there's no settings in there. It's just a simple on and off. 
We've got our backup, which yet again is just an on and off and tune up. We've also got Game Booster automatically optimized full screen games. That's all well and good, but not everyone runs their games in full screen. I know a lot of people that like to play their games in windowed mode, which I don't know. Will it actually detect that by the sounds of things? No, it won't. Let's go down again. We've got parental control. Obviously, I've got nothing in there, but we can manage accounts there. That's all pretty cool, but overall, to be honest, what I can see is... It's not really worth paying for this program, to be honest. You might as well just download a Fast, which is free, and it's superb. And there are also a lot of other free antivirus programs out there, which do the same job as this. Unless BullGuard do massive updates before everyone else and keep the antivirus database up to date, then I don't really see the point in paying for this, to be honest. And that's my opinion. Please comment below and let me know what you think of Ball Guard. Is it worth getting? Does anyone use it? If you do, I would love to hear what you think of the program. I hope this little video has helped. If it has, hit the like button below and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials.